first at five, a developing story. Police searched the home of former GOP state senator Frank Artiles. This comes as there's an investigation into whether he illegally funded a sham candidate that likely swayed a key state senate race. Law enforcement was spotted carrying boxes from the former state senator's home in Palmetto Bay this morning. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live outside Frank Artiles' home with the latest. Ted. Yeah, Lauren and Ali, it was around 9 o'clock this morning when investigators arrived uh, here at his home. They pulled up in several vehicles, went inside, collected some possible evidence, and then took off. Officers from the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office carry out boxes of potential evidence confiscated from the home of former state Senator Frank Artiles. The raid lasted several hours. That really surprised me. Tremendous surprise. Solid, solid individual in the neighborhood, no doubt. Great neighbor to have. The state attorney's office is not commenting on the raid or any investigation. Neither is anyone leaving his home. Artilas has been under investigation for several months regarding his possible involvement in planting a straw candidate into the state senate race, Alex Rodriguez. Incumbent Jose Javier Rodriguez has the same last name. The move was reportedly designed to confuse voters and siphon votes away from the incumbent for the benefit of challenger Ileana Garcia. She ultimately won by just 34 votes. Our partners at the Miami Herald report Artilas bragged that he was the one responsible for getting Alex Rodriguez onto the ballot. I was Senator Jose Javier Rodriguez's election attorney. J.C. Planas represented Jose Javier Rodriguez in the election. He, along with investigators, are looking into who helped finance Alex Rodriguez's campaign and whether they violated campaign finance laws. I'd like to know where the money came from, who directed it to, to be spent, because at the end of the day, voters have a right to know who is financing campaigns. And with great humility, I ask for your forgiveness. Artilas made news in 2017 when he resigned from the state Senate. He's accused of using a racial slur while speaking about a fellow senator. I extend a heartfelt apology to my colleagues and to all of those I have offended. And CBS 4 News has learned that Alex Rodriguez has been cooperating with the state attorney's investigation for several months now. Live in Palmetto Bay, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.